Welcome to the Exploratorium. So this is actually real science in real time. Now, one of the reasons I got this boy here, uh, this is the high-speed camera, is he'll film up to about a million frames per second. Light travels about 300 million frames per, um, 300 million meters per second. So that means that in a millionth of a second, light travels about 300 meters. So, in principle, if I were to get a laser and shoot it, so that it clips a piece of I don't know, mirror or something, piece of paper, doesn't matter what, shoots off 300 meters, right, you'll immediately see the reflection here, and then a mirror 300 meters away, by the time it comes back, it'll be about two extra frames on the high-speed camera. So, in principle, it can be done. But then you run into the technical difficulties, like can you actually turn something on and off in a millionth of a second? So, what I've got there is this is just uh, um, some LEDs. LEDs are nice because they're nice and bright. And I'm going to, let's get the high speed camera running. Where's my baby? There he is. Good. So, at the moment, I've got, what's this guy running at? Oh, he's running at a quarter of a million frames per second. Um, this, so, this is another one of the problems, is that by the time you get up to a million frames per second, it records, I forget what it is, it's 8 by 100 pixels or something. But we're at a quarter of a million frames at the moment, um, and I think my chances of actually being able to find anything at this Lower resolution, almost zero. So I'm going to go to a much bigger frame size. And there we go. Uh, oh, you get a lot of reflections on there. Right. But anyway, you can actually see some LEDs. If I open this up, you'll probably see a little. There we go. See the. Oh, look at that. Beautiful little LEDs. So, let's zoom in to, oh, I don't know, what do you reckon, 100 by 100. There we go. So there's an LED. And we're going to crank up the frames as high as we can, which is, in this case, a quarter of a million frames. And I'm going to stop it down a bit, and ooh, you actually see the individual parts of the LED. That's kind of cute. Anyway, so I'm going to do a blank on that. And we are going to start recording. Good, good. So we're now actually in capture mode. So that's actually cycling through. So all I'm going to do is turn this on and off a load of times, which I'm going to do like this. Like that. Blinky, blinky, blinky. And once I've got a load of those, I'm actually going to trigger the camera. And it'll take a few seconds, and then we will see what we actually look like. So this is a quarter of a million frames per second. Now you'll find that this sort of frame rate is actually quite difficult to find individual on and off events. So we want to see how long it takes to turn on. So we want off, 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 on. And we're gonna come back from there. <laughs> I've got two million frames here. It's quite a lot of frames to get through. Um, like I said, this is a pain in the ass. It's actually, it's actually the video of the, the LED. Let's see if we can kill that now. Ah, there we go. That was it. Ha! Good. There we go. Um, come on. There we go. So, what you find is, actually, we're going to have to go through this frame by frame. There we go, that was that. 
is each one of these clicks is a quarter of a millionth of a second, and it takes a quarter of a millionth of a second to turn on. So in principle, these are not too bad LEDs. I mean, just think about that, a quarter of a millionth of a second, and it's like, boom, it's straight there. One frame. Yeah, it's conceivable I can find another on-off event, but... Okay, there we go. Oh, that looked longer. That looked longer. So now we're playing back at regular speed. Boom. All right, frame by frame. Boom. So, one, two, two frames. Right? So, they really don't... So, if I, if I could actually do that, such that, you know, the LED lights up something close and it bounced off something 300 meters away and then comes back, that would be possible. In fact, I could, in principle... I wonder if I can do it. Um, so number one, I'm going to need my LED up. And let's try, I think it's 128 by 8 is when I can go up to a million frames. Ha <laughs> ha! Million frames per second. You don't get much, you see. Uh, Right, let's do it. Million frames per second. Oh, this is going to be so hard to find the on-off events. Okay, right. So, flash, 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 and trigger. So... At a million frames per second. One, oh, it's, it's several. So, one, two, eh, it's only about two frames still. See, it? Well, there's one frame, two frames, and that's basically it, he's back up again. Cool, right, so, next question. How long does a laser take to turn on and uh, on and off, so you know, ideally when a laser is not too bright or too blue, he's blue, green would be nice, yeah, this guy's green, actually greens I think have the, uh, the doublers in them, yeah this might do it. Right, okay, let's try for a laser. Big moment of truth, right? Can a regular handheld laser, how long do these things take to turn on and off? It doesn't actually matter that it's in focus or not. What matters is, God, it takes its time. How quick do they actually turn on and off? What I've been doing here is I have my piece of paper set up and I was flashing the laser on the point where I know the, um, the camera is pointing at. And I finally found it on the actual timeline. And what you find is that even at a million frames per second, it comes on in about um, one frame. So this is actually in principle possible. So what you would have for the experiment here is you have the high-speed camera there and it's going to have something white stuck in in the frame and you've got to clip half of the laser like that with the paper so, <coughs> so it's that this is essentially the zero marker and then you've got to get that laser. This is the tricky bit. You've got to get that laser to go at least 300 meters away, where it hits a mirror, 
and then it's got to come back and actually go back into the camera lens. Uh, so this would actually require some fairly precise collimation to get a laser to go 300 meters and come exactly back. It's not impossible, but, uh, and then, so what you should see is this one lights up and then two frames later, the return beam from the laser comes back. So it is in principle possible and that was actually working out that it was possible in real time.